Hello, today's class is about transconductance GM and output conductance GDS. So these transconductance GM and GDS both are the MOSFET parameters, N-channel metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor parameters. So now we are going to find out the transconductance and output conductance in N-channel MOSFET using mathematical analysis. Now what is this transconductance GM? So the transconductance GM is nothing but ratio of output current IDS and the input voltage VGS. So it implies that there will be a relationship between the output current IDS and input current VGS is given by the equation GM is equal to change delta IDS by delta VGS. So otherwise we can define this as change in drain to source current to the change in input voltage, change in drain to the source current to the change in input voltage VGS at constant value of VDS at constant value of VDS now we already studied the basic formulas of charge in our previous videos Q is equal to I into T the charge Q is nothing but current into time on the from that equation can I write this time or time constant or tau is equal to Q by I so where QC is the channel charge and IDS is the drain to source current so tau is a time constant so from this change in drain to source current delta IDS is equal to change in channel charge to the tau channel charge to the tau so we know that tau is equal to l square by mu into vds where we studied this equation so we studied this equation in relationship between vds and ids's chapter so on that video we studied tau ds we realized tau is equal to l square by mu into vds now if you substitute in the place of tau ds l square by mu into vds then the resultant delta ids is equal to change in the channel charge into mu into vds by l square now we know from the basic formula charge q is equal to c into v so this is our basic formula and where delta represents change in the channel change in the channel charge is equal into gate capacitance into change in drain to the source voltage now substitute this equation substitute this equation delta QC is equal to CG into delta VDS in this above equation in this above equation QC then the resultant is delta IDS is equal to mu into mu into VDS into CG into delta VDS by L square so if you take over this delta VDS to the denominator factor so if you take over this at this denominator then it becomes a delta IDS by delta VDS so delta IDS by delta VDS means transconductance so GM GM is equal to delta IDS by delta VDS is equal to mu into VDS into CG by L square CG by L square so this is our resultant equation so this is our resultant equation of transconductance of transconductance GM so we can write this GM in saturation mode as well as in non saturation mode so what is the saturation and non saturation so as we discussed that n channel MOSFET will work in two modes of operation one is a linear mode or non saturated mode and the second one is a saturation mode what that linear mode or non saturated mode when VGS is greater than or equal to VT and 
vds is less than vgs minus vt then it is in non saturated mode now here i have written a saturation over here so saturation means the conditions are when vgs is greater than the threshold voltage and when vds is greater than or equivalent to vgs minus vt then you will get the saturation current or saturation transconductance so similarly i am substituting in the place of vds here vds is there if you see here this vds is there in the place of vds i am substituting vgs minus vt on it so then the resultant transconductance is gm is equal to mu into cg into vgs minus vt by l square next output conductance gds so there will be a minor differences between these two conductance transconductance as well as output conductance so if you see the formula over here this gds is also delta ids by delta vgs am i right or not so the gm is also having delta ids by delta vds so here gds is also delta ids by delta vgs so the both are going to be similar with each other but there is some change what is that change is it is nothing but the reciprocal of output resistance or on which is equivalent to 1 by gds 1 by gds so this conductance is also similar to this transconductance but it has an additional factor of lambda so y means this output conductance will depend upon the length of the channel the output conductance will depend upon the length of the channel so that's why i have written a point here gds will be strongly depend upon the length of the channel then the formula gds is equal to lambda times of ids is equal to 1 by l square 1 by l whole square so this is all about output conductance so there no need to worry the transconductance and output conductance both are similar with each other gm is equal to delta ids by delta vgs this is also delta ids by delta vgs but what the main thing we have to be remember here is it is nothing but reciprocal of resistance r on so it will strongly depend upon the length of the channel lambda it is going to depend upon the length of the channel so we know that in this equation we studied gm so recall our fit parameters so the fit parameters are j fit junction field effect transistor parameters are of three types so first one is r d r subscript d which is nothing but drain resistance drain resistance second one is gm means transconductance third one is amplification factor so there are three parameters related to the junction field effect transistor and that amplification factor mu is the product of drain resistance to the transconductance gm transconductance gm so if you see here the mosfet parameters and fit parameters is having a same property for the transconductance so transconductance is common to both junction field effect transistor and metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor so the thing you have to be remember fit parameters are three types drain resistance rd next one is uh, transconductance gm and amplification factor but here the gm transconductance in mosfet is also same as junction field effect transistor next to gds we studied this is reciprocal of output resistance or on and it always going to depend upon the length of the channel that's why a lambda used over here next in going to the figure of merit so figure of merit is a measurement of frequency response so whenever we are finding the frequency response of an amplifier the figure of merit is going to exist over there okay figure of merit is nothing but a measurement of frequency response as well as 
switching performance of a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor so it is going to measure our frequency response omega frequency response omega uh, omega means whenever this fit or mosfet is acting as an amplifier definitely we will study about the frequency response on it so that frequency response measurement is considered as figure of merit and also switching function from logic 1 to 0 as well as 0 to 1 so all these comes under the figure of merit so the figure of merit is represented with omega and the formula is gm by cg gm by cg so substitute gm is equal to substitute gm is equal to mu into cg into uh, vgs minus vt by l square so we will get the equation like this so omega naught or omega is equal to gm by cg figure of merit is equal to mu by l square into vgs minus vt which is nothing but reciprocal of time constant tau s d reciprocal of time constant tau s d so thank you thank you very much